Hello everybody and welcome to this video in our course Deep Learning and as I promised you in the previous video I'm we are going to see uh, how it actually works in a simple uh, simple way and then we're gonna see some examples uh, maybe uh, this video maybe the next I think the next video we are going to see some examples uh, simple examples to illustrate uh, what we are learning about so first we are going to talk a little bit uh, about the victor uh, vectorized implementation uh, of uh, the model. If you uh, had our course before machine learning, this is going to be super simple and I think you already know that. Uh, <clears throat> then we are going to talk about uh, uh, activation of neurons uh, and how to act actually the activation function works. And then we're going to see some different architectures. So last time we stopped exactly on this uh, architecture and I showed you how uh, we take our inputs, we feed them to each and every one of these cells and then these cells do some computation. The computation is fed to the output cell or you can say the, layer, the third layer in this uh, architecture. We feed also the bias and then we have the final uh, output. And I showed you these computations here. These are the computations for each and every one of the cells. Uh, simply, as uh, because we are going to use, uh, when we are doing our practical uh, videos on uh, Python using the TensorFlow framework, um, we are going to deal with uh, matrices and vectors. So uh, it's better to use a, a, vector as a vectorized implementation. Uh, uh, so these are the vectorized implementation. As you can see here, just uh, weights, uh, transpose, weights trans transpose uh, x, and you can argue that it's not like that. In, in real life, in real programming, we are going to see that it's actually x transpose w1, but you know, it's just the mathematical uh, uh, annotation, and we are going to see how to do it in, uh, in actually in... Um, programming languages, actually, specifically in Python. <clears throat> so the only uh, thing that we changed here is the, uh, like, going from this uh, implementation to this implementation, because, because we are going to actually have uh, many inputs and uh, so on, so it's going to be uh, really, really uh, huge matrices here, like the X matrix, and the W, uh, which is the weights matrix. And this one indicates the first set of uh, weights, which means these weights. If we had an, another layer here, we are, or if we actually modeled these weights here, they are going to be two, two. <clears throat> so uh, the activation of neurons. So, how we do the activation uh, of uh, these uh, cells here? As you can see, oh, I didn't, okay. So, as you can see here, uh, the activation, actually I already uh, explained it, how it works. Just uh, multiply the set of uh, W1 with the X, so if we go here, that means uh, this one and this one and this one because X is big, big X, so it represents uh, X1, X2, and X3. You can imagine as uh, imagine it as a matrix or something like that. So uh, they are multiplied uh, with each W of them, and that's how we do the activation for this layer. And then let's see the activation for the third layer, which we didn't see before. Simply, uh, <clears throat> A3, which is this one, I just called it A3 because it's the activation in the third layer, and we have only one cell, so we didn't, don't need to indicate which cell, because it's only one. So it's a sigmoid of the set of W2, that means uh, the second set of weights, which is these three guys, transpose X. X here doesn't represent, actually, uh, it's kind of 
not I don't like it mathematically to write x here, but this x doesn't represent these x's here in contrast with this. The x actually represent the output of these three uh, cells. So the x represent the output of these three cells. So we multiply the set of weights, these, with the output of these three cells, these, and plus the bias 2 of the, the second set of biases, which is only one bias, which is this one, this one. And then that's how we can compute the output for the layer 3. I think the, the the neural networks model is really simple and really like really huge. <clears throat> so let's see some different architectures. We saw the architecture uh, with three uh, three uh, uh, cells for the first hidden layer. We uh, we had only one hidden layer, and these are the weights, and then feed the biases. Imagine if we have another hidden layer which is the second hidden layer. So at the third layer, we have an, uh, the second hidden layer. We feed, as we did here, we feed each output of, uh, of each cell uh, for, uh, to each, uh, as, in each uh, as an input for each activation function of the third layer. And then the biases, and then we have the output layer. And then we can. So, what you conclude from uh, this illustration here, that neural networks actually uh, can be extended to an infinite way. Uh, well, not actually really infinite because it's bounded by uh, your computation power, your your computer's power, but. Like it can be really huge to uh, solve really complicated problems, as the problem we saw before, which is uh, uh, computer vision. <clears throat> so that was our video to explain how it, like how uh, neural networks actually work. And in the next video, we are going to see uh, some examples uh, of uh, of working uh, with. Uh, Neural Networks. Thank you very much and see you next video.